and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He is the Most High God, El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves us with a true agape love. He wants to fill our heart and our mind with the knowledge of His will. He wants to give us wisdom and spiritual understanding. He wants to pour Himself out in our hearts. Not that God can ever be empty, but he's put us in himself. When we said yes to Christ, we stepped into light. We stepped into glory. We stepped into the very presence of God. Like Moses being set in the cleft of the rock. And what, what book is that, Exodus? He's set in the cleft of the rock, Exodus chapter 33 and 30. He sets us in the cleft of the rock as we've said yes to Christ who stepped out of darkness and into his wonderful light. Look what Moses did. He, he, he desired that the presence of God would go with him. And the Lord said that he would do that. He didn't just desire it, just merely desire it. He desired that the presence of God be with them as they traveled from place to place and that he, he refused to go up if the presence of the Lord was not going to be with them he says here in verse 14 and he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest see that's what the presence of the Lord the Lord does when we acknowledge the Lord in all of our ways, I'm telling you, that peace that surpasses all understanding is with us in everything. We are still and we are not moved but what I, by what our eyes see and what our ears hear because we know the Lord is here. We don't live in Moses' day where the Spirit of God came upon them. He, he's it been poured into our, put in our hearts and the love and the knowledge and the will of God is right there written on our hearts and written on our minds because we have come to him and we have sat down in him we've sat down in Christ Jesus the mercy seat of God that's why the mercy of God will follow you because you're in Christ I can jump all the way over to John where Jesus said abide in me if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you'll be able to ask for what you will, what you want. You know why? Because God's ways are in you and you know and you desire his ways. His will be done in whatever situation we're walking through. I'm so glad though that the Lord hides us in the cleft of the rock and he proclaims his name over us. He shows us who he is. He shows us who he is. All we have to do is come and sit in his presence. Take time to know who he is. We always want somebody to know us and understand us and see us <laughs> and hear us. But we need to give that attention to the Lord because it doesn't really matter I mean it does matter in a very small sense that others should respect you and hear you out but when we submit our heart and our mind to God when we sit down and we listen to him and what he has to say and how he reveals it to our hearts then when we go out and walk through this world whatever someone else is doing we have mercy and we have grace and we have patience what is this what is the fruit of the spirit because that is exactly what happens the fruit of the sh spirit shows up because you've been hanging out with the one who pours out that wisdom and that knowledge who get who is patience who, who, is, who in this life that you know is more patient than God? The one who is not willing that anybody should perish, but that all should come to the knowledge of his will. 
his salvation. If I'm making sense to somebody. God has called us to himself and he wants to pour out his love in us. He wants to take care of us, but we resist by what we see and what we hear. We resist by what we feel. We have a faith that expresses itself through love and that love is first poured out in your heart. You know that you're kept by God, your heart and your mind. Your soul is in the hand of the Creator. And it is well with your soul. It is well with your soul. You trust Him that He's going to work everything out together for your good. Because that's what it says. That's what His Word says. He said it Himself. He works all things out together for the good of those who love Him, who are called for well, those who are called according to his purpose, his purpose is salvation, salvation, salvation. We are the evidence of that salvation. See, I want to look like it. I want to walk like it. I'm in Christ. Christ is in me. I'm in God because Christ is in me. <laughs> he's gone before us and he's taken us with him. We're seated in Christ in the heavenly realm. Other verses say that we're hid in Christ with God. We're in the Father. The Father is in us. God is spirit in those. And we that worship him, we are worshiping him in spirit. In spirit to spirit communication. And in truth. The knowledge of his will. The absence of lying and cheating and stealing and being in depression and all the stuff that God didn't give us. Truth. Truth is bare. Truth is naked. But that's how our hearts ought to be with the living God. There's nothing he doesn't see, nothing he doesn't know. Every thought, every intention is all unveiled. It's all seen by God. Nobody else can see what's going on in your heart and in your mind, but the Lord does. And he knows how to keep you in perfect peace because you trust him. The word says that the truth is in Jesus. Jesus is the truth. He's the way, he's the life. Sometimes it's just so hard to say all these things. I mean, we have this world all around us and the situations that are in our lives that we don't understand we're still trying to reason it out why this and why that but if we would just cast the care take the situation before the lord hear what he has to say if he doesn't i we expect some voice maybe i don't know but all i know is that when i sit in his presence wherever wherever that may be for you wherever you sit just be still and just I mean quiet your heart quiet your mind even I have to sit here sometimes and say oh these thoughts <laughs> these are not my thoughts I don't want these thoughts oh again with these feelings and then I just begin to talk to the Lord about that feeling and, and say look that's not mine and the spirit to, to spirit communication comes up and cancels out the thoughts and the feelings with the knowledge of God. Because my desire is for him. Our desire is the Lord. He loves, I mean, he really does work out the situations. He calms you down. The, the situation may not go away right away, but he calms you down. He works out everything for the good of those who love him. We might not see it in that instant. But you're the one with all prayer. You're the one taking the situation and bringing it before God and letting it go. As many times as you have to let it go. And just look at the Lord and say, I trust you. I know that you're working all these things out. 
this is in your hands and you might have to do it a few times a day but God is the strength of our lives and he'll carry us through it but we cannot expect that every all day 24 hours of that day that we're going to be walking around in some glory cloud not feeling a thing the thoughts and the imaginations the feelings are going to come up and we're going to cast them down by the strength of the Almighty the power of God is in you to resist sin on to bloodshed on to death <laughs> the power of God is in you to deliver you from fear and deliver you from everything that God is not a part of he God didn't send that person into your life God didn't send those words to you hmm? he's not speaking evil into your ear God does not tempt us with evil if, if I was going to say God tempts us with anything I'd say God tempts us with good but he's not a tempter he tells us to do good he tells us to overcome evil with good it's because see, we've given our whole heart to him we've given him this part of ourselves I mean it's all of us it's your whole being you've given him your your heart your mind will and emotion just soul, and you've given him your strength so if I want to argue with somebody if I want to have a bad attitude I've got the power to have a bad attitude or to be sorrowful today or act confused today I can take on all of these things that are are not God's will for my life walk in all these attitudes of the mind that's power but I humbly submit to him and say I don't want to walk that way today I want to walk in love I want to walk in the purpose of the in your purpose Lord God I, I want to walk out my soul, soul salvation I want to look like Christ in the earth so that every day all day somebody will get saved <laughs> Oh, did I make it sound like I was perfect in some way? Please forgive me. I had a hard time yesterday. At this current moment, I don't remember what I was going through, but I was really having a hard time. I don't even think I, I made a message yesterday. I'm sorry for that. I need the Lord to, to help me in that area of my life when I get in those moods and I remember the words again greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world we have atmosphere all around us and I'd like to walk in the atmosphere of heaven I want to walk in the atmosphere of God's love the atmosphere of sin will confuse you and bring you into make you feel distraught and heavy you lose hope and you lose patience you just want to throw in the towel and give up hmm? but I thank God for being the joy of my life that even when I'm walking through a heavy time and the atmosphere feels heavy like that it feels dirty like that that he reminds me of all truth as I'm walking through it yesterday I heard the words show me your glory as I was feeling the way I was feeling yes I believe I, I heard the words wait on the Lord and be of good courage uh, wait wait I say on the Lord I wrote these things down because I wanted to remember that he was speaking to me even though I couldn't do the things I wanted to do even though I was fighting through feelings greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world are we listening as I started with Exodus and, and the Lord showing us himself declaring his name he reveals himself to us every day yet we have to change our heart and our mind we've been delivered from heaviness 
He's given us a garment of praise. He's given us worship, a song. will rise up to the occasion. Show Me Your Ways was one of the songs. I had a lot of songs yesterday. I had a lot of songs in me this morning to lift off the burden, to, d to destroy the yoke of heaviness. The Lord did not give us chains to walk in and say that, not, that something is impossible for God. Nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Whatever thing you're walking through, bring the care before God and worship Him. Bow down before Him and just, Lord, you, just be as honest as the woman at the well. Be as honest as the woman at the well. He knew her whole entire life, her whole entire story. When he told her to bring, you know, go get your husband, and she's saying, oh, give me, give me drink. I want a drink that I wouldn't thirst anymore. She says, he's, he tells her to go get her husband, and she says, I, I have none, sir. Instead of going off on him and saying, why are you in my business? Instead of going in all thick and, and giving her, her, him her life story, she said, I perceive that you are a prophet. She got fed that day. <laughs> she got well watered that day. Are we willing yeah, see, I'm thirsty, and I'm hungry, and I, we have, we will have days where we are hungry and thirsty. I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty, and I'm, I'm tired. But the greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. The Lord is the strength of our life. He's our backbone. He's our backbone. His word. What does it say again in Hebrews chapter four? That the word cuts between the soul and the spirit, and the spirit, the joint and the marrow. The word is a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of my heart, of me. And the words go on; they go in, they go in deep, and they destroy the things that are trying to set up a temple in me set up in me my, this, this this body this mind will and emotions this physical body all belongs to god it's the temple of the holy spirit and the holy spirit whose name is holy by the way spirit of truth by the way wonderful counselor by the way he reveals the truth to us he brings knowledge and wisdom he speaks to my spirit he speaks to our spirit. All we have to do is be still and trust God. Put the truth out. Don't we don't have to complain and go all in on what is happening, how deep and how long and how wide the hurt and the pain is. Especially as we want to grow these roots down into the true love of God. His love is so deep and so high and so wide you can't get around it and can't get over it. And as we submit to God, see, let me go back on this one right here. Everything is not all about us. It's not all about us. It's all about Him. You see, we've been made in the image of God. God has a desire. And the des see, this desire that we have that we be paid attention to, this desire that we have... To, to have all this love and I'm going to use the word attention again because I can't find another way to describe everything that we want and we need the Lord wants your love he one he doesn't need it I understand that he himself is love but he created us out of himself that we would become this living soul, this this one that decide we we decide we choose to embrace His love, 
And we come into this place where we're just overwhelmed by the awe of him. The awe of him is actually the fear of the living God. It's not a trembling and, and, and doing, you know, being fearful and staying in a corner somewhere where you're scared to, to move. It's an awe that you want to do everything you want to just lay out before him you want to stand up in him you want to stretch your arms out you want to go about doing good this love is fantastic there's so many things going on in the world and yet this powerful love overwhelms you overtakes the flesh He wants us to come in and love him. I don't think that we can love him the way that he loves us, but we can sure try by submitting all of our cares before him. Whatever you fear, th you know, you cannot cast down the spirit of fear by yourself. You need the power of God to cast down all the strongholds. We're not fighting flesh and blood. We're fighting things that are more powerful than this flesh and blood body, than the soul of mine. My soul cannot exist without a spirit. It cannot exist without a spirit. I'm, I'm talking about the sovereign spirit ruling over it. It can't be protected and sheltered by the Most High unless it, it comes, it, we, we take it and we give it to the Most High, where it can be covered and and cared for. You can. No soul in this world is without a spirit to rule over it. Can I say it like that? God, I know that the devil is a created being. He's a created be being, but he's still a spirit. Hmm? And he's a spirit that's been cast out of heaven. I'm trying to say this the right way. But he, he his, his rule is in the earth. And the whole world is laying in wickedness. And he has power. He has power over all these people. And he can do... I don't want to say that he can do whatever he wants because God God is sovereign. He can do what God can do what he wants to do. And he's only going to let that enemy go but so far. But a lot of things we're allowing the enemy to do out of our ignorance. As far as being saved, there's a lot of things we're allowing the enemy to do out of our ignorance. Somebody's going to rule over your soul. That's why I give my soul to Christ. That it may be ruled over by, by God and he can show me how to rule over my spirit. Now, over my soul. The Lord shows us how to rule our soul. But the soul needs to come into alignment with the word of God. And we're the ones who bring it here. We bring it to the word so that we can know our God. When we know the Lord, our God, we can resist the devil. Hmm? We can resist him. It says it in James chapter 4, isn't it? Submit to God. Bring your life here to the Father. Submit to him. Let your heart be his. Let your mind, will, and emotions be renewed in the knowledge of God. Let your strength become become God you know give your strength to the Lord give your strength to God the enemy is going to have to flee from you because you've submitted to God you're learning how to walk in the spirit and not in how you feel you're not led the way the world is led they're without God and they go with how they feel but God is created God is created and he's got a purpose for everything he's created 
we're coming in alignment with our purpose. O oh Lord, the God of all salvation, Elohim Bashimian, Joshua 2 and 11, means the God in heaven. He is with you. You are seated in heavenly places in Christ, spiritually speaking. And there is no weapon that can snatch you out of the hands of God, no weapon formed against you or your household that can prosper. And if only one of you in your household is saved, I'm telling you, you can cover that family. You can you you just get in that secret place with the Lord. You know, get in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Abide in the Spirit of Truth. Be that open book before God where you know that He sees every thought, every facet of you. He knows it. While we continue to be in awe with every facet of him. I, I know, I know. I keep going on and on. I just want to express this real love of God that he has for us so that we'll rest in the knowledge of who he is and know that we're kept by him and not fear this world. Not fear your situation. God is greater than everything that's going on in you and around you. We will be with the Lord forever. I thank God for sending us his son. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing us into the house of the Father, for giving us life, I mean real life, life beyond this place that we're living in. We need to start living for our everlasting life, living for our eternity. We need to start living for our eternity, living in uh, beyond this world, because the day we said yes, we traveled from one place to the other out of darkness and into light transported from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light we are now the sons and daughters of the most high god we belong to christ we're in his hand and we can't be plucked from it the more time we take to learn of him the more we'll start acting like it in all of our ways Situations are going to happen, happen, but they can't have you. The word of the Lord will, will come up out of your mouth. You'll hear that still small voice, and you will say what you hear him saying. Like I said yesterday, I was bummed out. I, if I can use that word, I don't know. I don't even know what it was. I do, but I can't really describe it with my words. Okay, but I know what I heard. I heard him say, show me your glory, which means come over here, get in the secret place. Know my name. My name is above every name. He showed me, he reminded me of a, of a vision, a, a dream I had one time where the angel Gabriel came in the room and I was standing there and doing something. And he came in and he looked all old and haggard and broke down and he's moving slow, but he's moving, you know, and it almost like he had a cane and stuff. And he looks over at me and he says, Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl, God will do it. And you know, the reason I laughed in the dream, I, I believe I laughed because he was so worn out and weary. Don't allow your hearts to be so overcharged by the cares of this life when we have a very present help. Let him tell you the truth. Let him reveal himself to you. Let, let the nature of God well up in you. Let the fruit of God, the fruit of the Spirit, well up in you. Let it overtake you. Go ahead. Overcome evil with good. And trust the Lord today. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face because life, our life is in the Son. And the Son is in God and He's taken us with Him and we're seated in heavenly places in Christ. I love you. Bye-bye.